Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the Genetically Modified Overkill mod once again. It lets you combine two characters together, get all the positives and all of the negatives to make a brand new one. Today, we are going to be combining two of the same character together because it sounds funny. Old, old. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to go for double old, and we're going to grab ourselves a wrench, danger five. You can probably already see why I wanted to do this. 25% enemy speed becomes minus 50% enemy speed. 20 harvesting, minus 66% map size, minus 20% enemies, and minus 20% speed is what we've got going on here. So, we'll see how this shakes out. It's going to be a very tiny map with very, very slow enemies, which I think won't be too bad. However, when we get to a later point of the run and there's lots of enemies, like... I know, yes, it's 20% less, but still, it's going to add up. Uh, then we maybe might have an issue. Oh, God, I don't really want to roll too much here. Never mind, I'll take the harvesting. I, I saw the engineering as well, but early harvesting is going to be nice. Uh, I'll take some early luck as well. There's some really good harvesting things. Scar's going to be nice, but we're going to get that on wave four instead. All right. I forgot that this character starts with harvesting. I guess it's to make up for the fact, like, economically make up for the fact that there's less enemies. I suppose, I suppose. But typically the reason why old and engineer work well together is because it's a smaller map. And thus your turrets are more likely to hit enemies. They're more likely to be in opportune places. It's usually one of the more annoying parts about a, sure, about an engineering build. Grab some more of this. Tunnel vision in on wrenches. Get another one in the shop if we can. And we are starting off strong here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So. What's the plan? Like, do we want to try and tunnel vision anything in specific? I mean, obviously engineering. Obviously we'll pick up any turrets we can find. We want to fill this tiny little map with as many silly turrets as we can it's gonna be super easy before it gets potentially hard i would imagine but i think that's i'll take some engineer i think that's typically how the game is anyways take some luck let's be bold wave four i will take the econ plays and then a roll doesn't really net us much of anything just getting through the shop quick because when it's stuff that i lock from last way i'll just move quick there Got ourselves six wrenches already, which is nice for wave four. Pretty easy to do if you have like a little bit of econ, like you're playing a little bit of an econ character and you just hyper roll though. Do I want melee down because I have wrenches? No, but I will take, uh, you know, I'll take what I can to get some free harvesting early. Nah. Luck or damage. Percentage damage doesn't help our turrets, so I don't care about it. Baby Gecko, I, I don't care. The map is so small. Okay, funny things. I'll take the wrench, and I'm actually going to straight combine it to, uh, to Epic, because I think that the Epic is just so much better than the Blues, personally, even after the buffs. And I will grab uh, <laughs> the ability to slow down enemies even more, because that sounds extra funny down to another 30%. Theoretically, an 80% enemy speed decrease. Sounds pretty good to me. We'll see it in action. Ow. Damage wake-up call. Very much so. We may want to uh, actually get a... <laughs> it's kind of... For a funny reason, we may want to get a pickup radius upgrade because it is pretty easy on this small of a map to get, like food and stuff spawning outside of it. Out of this, I definitely go for the luck. Harvesting. Grab the wrench. I have quite a bit of luck, so I'm going to get that. Duct tape helps us out. It's engineering and armor. Get a dangerous bunny. Lumberjack shirt. Why not? I don't care that much about my range and... Being at minus 23 speed, you wouldn't think that we're at minus 23 speed, though, right? Like, 
just it's deceptive the map being so small makes me feel like i'm going kind of normal speed but it's just because the enemies oops, the enemies aren't moving they ain't moving fast no sir we could even just like stand up here and force them to spawn in my turrets more so like because they can't spawn within a certain radius of me yeah but it doesn't really matter i, I want to get the money the dashy boys are going to be rougher because the speed of the dash is irrelevant i'll take a piggy bank for 17 mostly so that i just don't have to think about piggy bank six armor for a similar reason to be honest epic wrench uh, metal detector. There's less money, but I think it's still going to be worth. <laughs> Two horde waves is kind of funny. Old <laughs> horde waves. A 33% of the a normal size map. <laughs> I mean... It's one third as big of a normal map, and we're going to have a horde wave. Sounds a little funny, but so far, so fine. Like, working as expected and, and intended. Charging enemies will be the problem. That is just going to be true. Larger, bigger, charger, chunky boys will be the problem, if anything. Good. For engineering, yes, please. Ten luck, why not? Metal detector, white flag. I don't, I don't really want less enemies, like even less enemies. I'll grab that for later. We'll get another metal detector. Engineering, chance to double luck. Like it's got all the stats we're kind of looking for to an extent. These are spawning pretty close together. I think it has something to do with the fact that there, there was a patch a little bit ago that made it so turrets couldn't spawn a certain distance from the wall. Like, that that's always been the case, but the radius, like the allowance for how, ooh, I was just trying to show with my body, for how close you can get to the wall was much closer. Like, it was like here-ish or something, and then they pushed it out a little bit more. I could die if I get hit by that big boy. The, the spiky lad. Now we're good. I don't think we're one-shottable anymore. Good deal. Why'd I risk it? I mean, how else are you getting that biscuit? Uh, absolutely is fine. Attack speed I would take on prospect of getting improved tools, but we just don't know if that's happening, right? Okay, so let's take these, combine these, boom. Just like that, we have lots of legendaries. Spicy sauce is okay. Because obviously we're going to get lots of luck, so you would think it'd be pretty decent. Exact cost, I'll take it. We have ourselves an explosive turret now. Let's go ahead and... Um, just want to see the radius... In action. <laughs> it has not hit an enemy yet. There we go. So we stand here and we kind of just like knock back enemies into them. It seems like it'd be good. Wave 9. Got a little bit of wave 9. Feels very funny. It looks a lot different on this small of a map. Looks a lot different on this small of a map. Right. Horde wave on what? 12? Perhaps. Look for armor. Three armor. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. It's stupid, and I'm liking it. Wandering bot? Absolutely. Slow them down even more. Cake, I'll take. Uh, reflexes on prospect. Sounds good. Some more harvesting. Sure. Cyclops room? I could. 
Olanky, welcome aboard. Plant, fantastic. We don't care about lifesteal. Uh, Vigilante Ring is actually maybe okay, just because of the pure downsideless nature of it. And it being like a, th I don't know, like a nearly 30% increase in damage. Sure. It's pretty noteworthy. Can maybe get like, I don't know, we can maybe get some luck based kill items at this point too. Like a, with, with taking that, something like a cyber ball or a, an elephant is going to be more appealing. Because we've been taking a lot of luck, but we've also been tanking actively our damage down. Or taking tanking our damage percentage. But now it's a little bit more appealing. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, I don't think I don't think the Olenki item has ever been better than it would be on this run, right? I wouldn't mind a million of them. Kind of covering like, ooh, covering the whole ground. Sorry, there's a lot of enemies spawning now. I say now, just wait until wave 12. Okay. For engineering, yes. Incendiar turret, yes. Medical turret, yes. Metal detector, yes. Tax speed, coffee on prospect. Take a wrench for sure. Compass, absolutely. Uh, wisdom, nah. Horde wave, what's it look like? Okay, but yeah, getting the medical turret as well. Like, what's the radius on that? About, about this far? This far? About this far. So, more or less the whole map. Oh god. Oh god, it's clumpy. Stay by the Olenki. Oh boy. So, wave 11. Wave 11 Horde Wave, huh? Yeah, interesting. For some reason, I had it in my mind 11 couldn't be. I know not, you can't get a Horde Wave before 10. Now. Oof. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it's a mess. Okay. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We take that. And you know what? We'll take a, we'll take that too. Engineering, sure. Pruner, no. Baby with a beard, no. Mouse, you know, it's something we could take. I'm gonna get a massive speed up just because it sounds funny. Another tractor, another coffee. About that percent damage. Wave 12. All right. So we had, it was Horde Horde mini boss. I will say that a mini boss is much scarier than a horde for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Just because if we get a bull on this small of a map, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't freaking know. Ooh. Weird frame drop. Chef, I mean, we got enough speed now that we can actually dodge things appropriately. I think we'd be fine on the bull. But we would infinitely be in the radius of him doing his charge attack. Like, we pretty much couldn't escape it. At least, escape the radius of him doing the attack. Obviously, we can escape the damage radius, but... Oh. Take a broken mouth, I think. Two luck for every crit you have, and minus two armor. Sad to say, I think it's trash today. What? Love that. Love that. Man, 73 luck, or 78 luck and 182 harvesting. It. I'm not going to say it's uh, not lucky, but it is... That That is a run where you would expect to be maxed out on weapons by the end. 
high luck and high harvesting, like high econ and luck, is kind of... You're sort of asking for it, right? Okay, tentacle's a little bit sketchy. Okay. Wouldn't mind some, uh... Plastic explosive, wouldn't mind some dynamite and stuff now, since... It's gonna be pretty darn likely that we just have some explosive turrets for the run. Not to mention they're good, like, they're so good anyways. Because everybody's gonna be so clumped up on such a small map. The AoE does wonders. Love to see it, love to see it, love to see it, love to see it. Love to kill it, love to kill it. Die, mini guy. <laughs> nah. Silver bullet, sure. Armor, sure. Compass, okay. Nuke launcher, no. Alright, we're almost there. Oh, let's go. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Man, I love having uh, like 200 harvesting on wave 14 and 78 luck. Having both of those? Good god. So good. So good. Shockingly low amount of um, structures. We have a free incendiary, a free Olenki, and a free healing turret. Notably missing all commons, all of the common structures. We've only found some of the rares. Two, two rares and an epic, but none of the commons? Have I just been rolling past them? Have they showed up and I've just rolled past them? Surely not, surely not. Right? I may have. I know I've rolled past some, like, luck damage items. I, I can't imagine I haven't. Because I didn't really have it in my mind that I wanted to go that angle. And I, don't, I still don't even know if I do. Laser, there we go. I'll take that. Baby elephant. Hey. Thank you for doing it while it was fresh on my mind. Percentage damage is fine for the, um... Let's use this now. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. That is the that is the earliest I've ever gotten full legendaries. Like, this is a dream. Beautiful. Oh. What? The game crashing? The game crashed. Uh, I'll be back and see what the heck to do. <laughs> I guess. I mean, we'll see. Back at it. We can just refresh back in. I don't fully... Ex I have no idea why that happened. So I don't know how to prevent it from happening again. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know if this run is making it. Which is sad. It's so lucky. It must have been like a certain type of enemy trying to spawn or... What the hell? If we can make it to the end of this run, it's going to be a miracle. Seeing that crash that early. Ooh. Okay, this is a... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! What is it? Is it something to do with the healing turret? I don't know. Oh, shoot. I mean, we'll give it one more shot, and then what I'll do... <laughs> what? What's happening, man? What is it? I have no idea. I have no faith that this will work, but maybe we're standing too perfectly in the middle that they were trying to spawn, but there's not enough map for it. I don't know. That's my guess. Like, too small of a map. We caused that problem. Perhaps. Because I'm not getting in the middle. And it's not happening. Oh my god, are we getting to the end of the wave? It hadn't been happening before, though. God, I want that money so bad, but I don't want to crash. Oh my god, that's totally it. Okay, well, hey, we now, now we know. Now we know. 
I'll be back w with that wave over. Let's go. Don't speak too soon. Totally. I That has to be it. I can't. Okay. I'm glad I stuck with it. Take the incendiary. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't matter anymore. I'll take a medical turret. I'll take an alien tongue just for... Well, especially... You know what? Pickup radius is going to be extra important now since I can't go in the middle of the map. <laughs> so I'm going to really take a lot of that if it shows up. I'll take a peaceful bee. Uh, spicy sauce could be okay. Torture is kind of funny. I'll take a tractor for sure. All right. I mean, hey... We'll do what we can do. I'll try. This is what I was doing off camera. I was just running strictly in like a big square around the edges. Okay, I chanced it. I chanced it because there was nobody spawning. I think it, I think it was exacerbated by the fact that it was a horde wave or something, you know. And like the scatter shot summon is like bigger. I don't know. It's like a big old circle. And it's like, well, there's nowhere for me to spawn. So I will instead die. I will make game die. But now as long as we are... Yeah, in a big old radius on the outside. We can do it, it looks like. Pick up radius will be divine. I'm pushing it. Ah! It's a, it's a whole nother... It's adding another layer of complexity. Like a weird layer of complexity. No more enemies. I'm not spawning more enemies. If anything, I'll spawn less. I'm going to say nah to that. HP regen sounds good. Snail sounds funny. Engineering but minus damage. Sure. Schmoop I could. Cyberball. I mean, sure. Another wandering bot. I'll grab a, a helmet. All right. We'll just stand down here. And then we'll, we'll make them all spawn up there and die up there. And then we'll rotate to the other corner of the map. That's our strat. Oh, this is legit, though. Okay. We need to get that tentacle to move up into our turrets. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. I think that money might be too close to the middle for me to get it. Yeah. Wow. Who would have thought that I would want pickup radius so bad on such a small map? <laughs> you would think it'd be so redundant. Just like, oh, you want to pick up the materials? Just go two feet to the north. Nope. Yeah, I don't really need knockback that bad. I'll take some armor for sure. We get some engineering? Yeah, I'll take the luck. Schmoop. Another coupon. At this point, it's it's stupid. I shouldn't be getting coupon. Landmines! Uh, you know, maybe that's actually a bad idea. Speaking of bad ideas... Uh, fighting this guy is one. What can I really do about it? Okay. Hold on. Single target is not our forte. But also, I'm just worried about, you know, crashing. This is the weirdest challenge I've had for completely different reasons than normal. It's... Let's go. Okay. Too small map. Too small map. Game no compute. All right. Ooh. I almost went to, <laughs> to the danger zone. Uh, I'll pass. Projectiles gain a bounce? Yeah. That's super good. I'm going to attack me on a prospect. Again, just... There's still a chance. Uh, sure. There's still a chance we get the um, attack speed item. 
Why even get that this late? Makes no sense. Extra stomach? Yeah, that's a really good item to have on the final boss. Only. I jest. Move. <laughs> Move. Ironically, like, the pure center seems like the worst spot to be. I think that it was maybe made worse from the Horde Waves. But I'm not about to chance it when we really don't need to be in the middle. Oh my god, the bounces... Because here's the thing. The bounces work on the um, explosive turrets. That's why I went for it. If you didn't know. Or the little... <laughs> Just a tiny map filled with little nukes. Fighting two bosses on this size map is going to be weird. Especially because we are not good at single target. At all. And we also can't go into the middle of the map. We're about to face... One of the weird... Weirdly hardest... Rotato challenges I think I've had. I think. Okay, turret, great. Duct tape, sure. Silver bullet, if it works, which I don't know if it does, is going to be great. Incendiary, sure. Metal plates, yeah, at this point, sure. Yeah, again, like just taking this for knockback down really need knockback. Potato's fine. It's just not exciting. Plastic explosive is fun. And then nothing else is relevant, so let's just see what we missed out on. It's weird to have a, uh, a legendary with experience gain, though, right? Am I wrong? Alright. Micro dodges of the century. Please activate. Again, the middle of the map, pretend it has an infinite, uh, an infinite red attack in it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I, hey, I, that's a miracle that we won that, not because of, like, difficulty or anything. <laughs> it's just, I'm so glad. I'm glad we, uh, I, I troubleshot that and we got to see that one through to the end. Because that was very cool. Very fun and dumb and I loved it. I loved it. It sucked. I loved it. Uh, alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. If you have any suggestions for character combos you'd like to see mashed together, knowing that there are a good chunk of them that just don't work. Um, you know, example, we crashed today. That has nothing to do with the mod. That has to do with the fact that the game doesn't like it when a map is only 33% as big as it's supposed to be. The game doesn't like that. Uh, so it could lead to a crash. <laughs> so, like, there's things like that that'll happen, and there's some combos that just don't work. Like, you can't really do two one arm together. It Just because the way that it's coded, it's sort of strange. Because Blobfish didn't intend for these things to be combined together. So, hey, uh, some of them won't work. But let me know if there's a combo of two, two different characters or two characters you want me to see me double up on. Let me know in the form of a comment down below. Check out the channel. Roguelike some more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.